John, can you put in words what happened in the football season? The momentum switch and we couldn't get it back. That was pretty much it. Why do you think that is, Deshaun, that you couldn't get it back? I mean, home field advantage, they you know, kept making plays. Um, crowd got into it. We couldn't overturn the momentum. That was pretty much it. Do you have any disbelief right now? You're up 24 nothing. You're in control, but it was still early. And now the way things are fleshed out. I mean, that's playoff football. Two great teams going at it, going back and forth. Um, we're going to deal with adversity, and uh, we couldn't flip the script. That was pretty much the whole thing. When you scored the uh, touchdown late to cut it to 10, you guys, obviously, I'm still thinking you guys are going to need something to happen. Anything on the sidelines, you feel a different energy? I mean, the game is never over. I mean, regardless, we're down 10, 24. You've seen the last week, 16. And we turned it around in the fourth quarter. So the game is never over. We're going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep fighting as long as I'm on that field and I'm healthy. Um, and keep pushing to try to get points. And, you know, we couldn't, couldn't do that. And, you know, they did a good job of, you know, holding us from, you know, scoring extra points. Is this your, the most disappointing loss of your brief career? Uh, no. I mean, of course, it's the last one, so it is, but, I mean, when it happens, it goes, you know, along, and, you know, it happens in everyone's career, and, you know, we just keep pushing forward and learn from it. Your football team will change. Guys will come and go. What do you think about the nucleus that you have? A lot of these guys obviously will be back, and chances to build on this project. I mean, the future is bright for this organization, for this city, for this team, for this locker room. Uh, everything. So um, there's no way that I'll be discouraged uh, for the future. Um, it's all positive, and you know we did so much for this season. Um, we went through so much ups and downs, and um, you know for us to be able to be one of the final eight teams is uh, is huge. Um, and it's a lot of teams at home that wish that we were in this position to play in this game. And, you know, it was a great atmosphere. It was a great, I mean, it was fun. It was two great, like I said, two great teams competing, going at each other. And, you know, uh, it just didn't go our way today. How disappointed are you for the organization, your teammates, and for your, for the city? Um, I mean, I'm not really disappointed. I mean, like I said, it's NFL football. We just didn't go our way. The ball didn't bounce our way in the second half. Um, well, from the second quarter to the rest of the, rest of the game. So, no need to be disappointed. Like I said, I'm I'm very encouraged for this organization, for this team, for the city. And uh, I mean, you might be disappointed, but I'm not. Um, as long as I'm in this organization, I'm in the city. We definitely gonna be in games like this. So. Uh, we're just going to keep pushing forward and, and keep moving. Did you and Patrick talk after the game? Yeah, we did. How did that, generally speaking, happen? What I mean, the same stuff. You know, congratulated him, and he did the same thing and told him to go, you know, take it all and, and stay healthy. And he told me he'll hit me up this offseason and we'll get together and, you know, keep pushing forward and, and try to get better. Did you know you've been in the game for promotional season, especially those championship games in college? Did you ever see one go so far one and so far to the other way? Um, over my career, for sure. I mean, high school, college, there's definitely been uh, shifts and, and swings. But you know, that's that's playing football um, and, and being able to try to you know stop the adversity as, as much as you can and, and try, to stop, try to stop those swings. But you know, like I can say it just didn't go our way, and they did a good job of, of keeping that momentum going. Just a dramatic turn of events. Uh, up 24 nothing to. Losing 51 to 31, Deshaun Watson and the Texans' season uh, season comes to an end. But the Chiefs are moving on to the AFC Championship game here, uh, guys. Final thought from this one. I'd love to get a, a Super Bowl prediction uh, from you as well. Now that we uh, have three of the what? four teams, yeah, come on, give it yeah. to me. Well, I, you know, just unbelievable job by the Kansas City Chiefs. They took the Houston Texans' best shots and they found a way to battle back. And, and I think the Kansas City Chiefs' defense deserves a lot of credit. Mahomes, obviously, he's going to get all the credit with the points, but their defense. Defense, even though the 24 points weren't all on them, there was a blocked field goal, or yeah. a blocked punt that led to that. I thought the Chiefs' defense really played well. Yeah, no question. But what's what's crazy is like last week, you the Bills were up 16 nothing on the, the Houston Texans. They kind of saw this last week. They and were they not, came they, back. Yeah, yeah, they came back and won it. So it's kind of ironic in that way. But uh, yeah, listen, a game like this, you took up 24 points. Unfortunately, it was in the first quarter, so it gave. Uh, Kansas City a lot of uh, time to come back and win it. But they shouldn't have never won that game. I mean, not being up 24 points, you shouldn't lose that game. At least yeah. give me the AFC representative. Well, my, Chiefs my, or Titans? Well, Chiefs. I had Chiefs You're already. Chiefs. I had Chiefs, Vikings. My whole uh, little bracket is busted right yeah, now well, of course on the so. NFC yeah. side. <laughs> <laughs> AFC representative in the Super Bowl, what do you got? 
You know, I, I love the Tennessee Say Titans. Derrick Henry reminds me of Brandon Jacobs, who I play with. Nobody wants to tackle him. Nobody wants to get in front of him. <laughs> I just think that with two throws, Mahomes can change the trajectory of it's that true. game. So I'll, I'll, I'll side, I'll co-sign with the Chiefs. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us on NFL Game Day highlights. Remember, you can catch NFL Game Day Prime tonight, uh, right after the Seahawks and Packers game. Currently, Packers up seven three in the second quarter. Really the, the way you started, everything was going your way. Yeah. Like there's a fan, you see it, the momentum shift. Uh, it wasn't fun. I mean, sports are all about highs and lows. I mean, that's really when you boil it down to it, that's what it's about. It's about people come to the game, people play the game to experience those highs and lows. And today we experienced an extreme high early. Um, and then we experienced a hell of a lot of lows uh, as the game went on. And, um, it, I mean, there's... It sucked. It's not fun. I mean, but that's what happened. And you, uh, you wish it didn't happen like that, but that's what happened. And so now you have to live with that. And that's that's what happens when you get into this game. When you get into sports, is you you live for the highs and you hope to avoid the lows. But you have to understand that in order to strive for those highs, that you're gonna potentially face the consequence of the lows that come with it and shit that's where we are we're we're experiencing that low and it sucks what sense could you have about a fake punt you know, that was i mean it's it's our job to go out there after that and get a stop and as the leader of the defense i take it on myself to to provide a spark for our defense and to get a stop and i didn't do that so I put that 100% on me and, uh, at any point, not just after the fake punt at any point. And so uh, as a defense, we have to go out there and we have to make a stop. Somebody's got to make a play. That's the same thing as last week, same thing as any football game. Somebody's got to make a play to change it, especially when momentum swings like that. And we didn't do it. So I put that on my shoulders. How helpless a feeling was it that they scored touchdowns in seven consecutive Uh not good. Not, not a good feeling. JJ, you always find ways to fuel your fire. I'm guessing that you were going to be ready to go into this offseason. I mean, you want to get totally healthy, but uh, it's got to fuel your fire again. Yeah, I mean, there's no, uh, it's not going to be a long break for me. Um, it's going to be back to work pretty quickly, obviously, trying to make sure the body's 100%. Um, but. There's, there's not going to be a lot of break time, a lot of downtime. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be work back to work as quickly as possible. Coming back with the injury, is it, did you feel was it more difficult on the second week back than it was last week? Um, I mean, it's still, you know, back when we made the decision to play, we knew we said week one or week two of the playoffs, it's going, the risk level is the same. Everything's pretty much the same. So, um, you know, it's we try, uh, we try to manage it as best we could, obviously, and. Um, we know we knew that running plays were the higher risk plays. So we tried to avoid those, and so um, we had a good plan for it. But uh, I mean, I came out, and it's all right. So now we'll just get it back to 100, percent which shouldn't be a problem, and uh, we'll go from there. Do you feel the breakdown of defense? Like you say you all season long, and you missed half of it, but there were stretches where you guys just couldn't couldn't make a play, couldn't get a stop, and then that all came in today in one right. brutal stretch. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to also give them an incredible amount of credit. I mean, it's a great football team with a great coaching staff, um, great players, and Patrick Mahomes is an incredible player. Those guys deserve a ton of credit. Kelsey, Tyreek, I mean, those guys all deserve a ton of credit. And then on our side, it's just a matter of making a play. It's a matter of finding a way to break up uh, that momentum, that run that they made, and we didn't do it. Um, I mean, I, I could sit here and try and come up with some answer for you, but we, we, we just didn't do it. And so, like I said, I put that on me. How different does it feel to have a 24-point lead against them than by any other I mean, like I said, the beginning of the game was <clears throat> exactly how you would write it up if you could possibly write it up in a script. I mean, you go up 24-0 to zero on the road in a tough environment, and your special teams make great plays, and, and, then, and then it all... Uh, 
it all fell apart. And so it's, like I said, highs and lows. Highs and lows. Thank you. And many highs here for the Chiefs. As Watt would be lamenting like everything here on the screen, including the third one from the top. The five combined touchdown drives in under 90 seconds apiece. You can have a 24-point lead. Bill O'Brien knew they needed 50 to win. He said it casually and sort of flippantly, but it doesn't make it any less true. <laughs> Not at all.